Hi guys, this is a Photoshop animation I created earlier. So what I will do now is take you guys straight onto Photoshop and uh, we put together one of these. Let's go to Photoshop now. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to create animation in Photoshop. Let's start by clicking on custom setting. Let's change my custom setting to about 1800 by 600 click on OK I will zoom in a little bit so that you can see it I'll change the background to green color now come to the bucket tool and just fill that's my that's my stadium right there ready then the next thing I want to do is let's add another background and close this one change the color of that make it a little bit lighter than the previous one now let's use this ruler here let's go for five that's ten and draw another one make that maybe about 11 12 13 now come here again there's another 10 and add another one one more here let's let's speed that up a little bit now we use the rectangle tool right here select that make sure the color is changed and just draw that that's one there draw another line and another one here here and one more right here there okay that's fine i'm now going to make my main background visible so that is my stage ready the next thing i will do now is to click on create frame animation main frame animation then paste football i intend to use right there because you can see the football i intend to use do have a background so i'm going to close all of these just hide them and also hide the background there come up here get the magic one click on the football and just press backspace now press ctrl d to deselect now click on the move tool and move the ball somewhere there now press ctrl t to select the ball now hold on to alt shift key resize the football there that's good enough for me press enter to apply now let's move this ball up there somewhere okay now that the ball is up there i will now enable all of my backgrounds there now add another frame here drag the ball down right here select frame one and two Make sure both frames are selected and click on the twin tool right here. The twin, click on that. The 20 and change that to 10. Click on OK to add frames. If you like, you can always play it and see what you've done. Now let's add another frame, frame 13. Move the ball from here up here. Now select frame 12 and 13, apply the, the twin again. Now, if you like, you can always play it. There we go. Now let's add another frame, frame 24. Move the ball right in here. Select frame 24 and 23, apply the 20, click on OK. Let's try it again you see the smoothness of the ball now select frame 34 and 33 apply the twin we have 10 there now at frame 44 apply another 20 now move the ball up now select frame 44 and 45 apply the twin click on ok now apply another frame drag it right down 
till you can't see it anymore. Select frame 55 and 56. Apply 20. Click on OK. You can then come here just to see how the program works or scroll right back and try it out. Okay, so the next thing we will do now is let's go to File, Export, select Save for Web. Make sure the file extension is GIF file. You can always preview if you want. Okay, that is fine. If you are satisfied with that, come to where it says looping option, change the option to forever and click on save. Now save the file to wherever you intend to save your program. Like I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, let's give it a name. Just call that football underscore two. Click on save there. I will now open up my folder, open up the football folder, double click on the football, and there we go guys. And that is how you create your own animation in Photoshop. I suppose you guys enjoy it. Bye for now.